Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hello, I am Kaya. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment, and check out all the links in the description. Thank you very much for all of your support over the past year, really. Um, it's been so mental. Um, I have achieved so much this year as far as like theme parks are concerned and this is kind of what I'm going to talk about. I am going to just talk about theme parks and my experience and answer a few questions and do a little haul. So if you didn't know I really struggled with heights and acceleration and the motions of basically a roller coaster and my mental health kind of stopped me from doing a lot of things i.e going on roller coasters. If you didn't know I am a massive theatre lover and with everything that has happened this year i.e <laughs> covid um it stopped me from doing the biggest thing that I loved. Um however this kind of gave me a chance to actually try and face a few fears and I started going and working at Gulliver's Kingdom in July, uh, which I'm very grateful for because <laughs> Zoe got me into that and I'm very, very happy about that. If you don't know who Zoe is, she is my best friend and she has the channel I'm Addicted to Theme Park. She makes pure theme park videos. You'll probably know her, you'll probably already have gone to her channel, which is probably why you know me. Um, but. Basically, yeah, I started working at Gulliver's Kingdom in July and then in August, oh no, in the end of July, we got our Blackpool Pleasure Beach season passes because I actually just fell in love with going to Pleasure Beach and in August, I actually faced my biggest fear and went on the big one, which is a massive thing and I never thought I would do it. I never thought I'd even go on things like Avalanche or anything like that and I did it and I'm very proud of myself and annoyingly the picture <laughs> that we have from it is awful but you know we move <laughs> um so yeah so I faced my biggest fear in August and then went ahead and started going to Pleasure Beach more and then I started to go to Alton Towers and this was a life changer <laughs> I have been to Alton Towers before and then this time I decided I was actually just going to start going on upside down roller coasters because, you know, why not? I think this year I just kind of wanted to just try and make as much as I could out of this year because of everything that was going off and I'm so, so glad I did because I literally went on Galactica as my first upside down ride and I am in love and yeah, it was... <laughs> <laughs> the best experience I've ever had and I never thought I'd say that about a roller coaster, especially an upside down roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I am now completely in love with theme parks and visiting theme parks. And this kind of leads me on to the haul because <laughs> if you didn't know, I own a small business called Recreative and today, in actual fact, tonight they are going up. Um, I have launched, or me and my dad mainly, well, the three of us, really, because there's only three of us in, in the business, me, Dom, and my dad, um, we have brought out these, oh, I can't even, I'm so excited, um, these hoodies, and we are doing various variations of these, this one just says, love life's ups and downs with a roller coaster in the middle, and then it says, roller coaster rider at the bottom here, and this is just done in like a metallic sparkly foil and it's so so comfy I can't even get up <laughs> like oh I'm so excited uh, but anyway yeah so basically we are doing different variations of these hoodies and we are doing them on t-shirts and we are going to be bringing out a roller coaster rider logo and a sleeve design Oh, it's just also very exciting. Um, please go and check out them um, if you are into theme parks uh, because I love them personally and I am so, so proud of them. And yeah, I can't. I've kind of been keeping it secret from a lot of people, but not really. Um, 
because you know it's, it's it's my business in that sense so kind of just been doing my thing at my business and just designing away and helping my dad design this and because he drew and designed all of this and then we kind of worked together at the end to, to create the final design um and yeah anyway i'm gonna stop talking about it but basically that leads me on to the haul um please support buy you know very exciting and yeah i'm gonna show you what all the merch that i have um basically this is kind of all the things that I wear at theme parks because um, I like to have merch from the theme parks to go to the theme parks. Annoyingly, I haven't got any merch from Alton Towers because, you know, it's only recently that I've started actually going to Alton Towers and loving it and I have no money. I never have any money and poor. Um, so if anybody wants to buy me any merch from Alton Towers, please, please do. Um, but yeah, I have no merch from Alton Towers, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I've got. So the first thing is this Fantasy Island hoodie, which is so, so cool. This is actually not the one that I bought, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, I actually bought the grey version and then me and Zoe decided to swap because I actually preferred this design. Like, I prefer when things are contrast and, you know... It just worked out really well because this is a bigger size and I've grown in weight. So, you know, it's perfect because she's shrunk, I've grown, gained weight. And, you know, we swapped. So, we swapped. <laughs> I should probably mention that actually I think most of these, if not all of these, um, are actually what Zoe's given me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, anyway, I'll get on with it. So this t-shirt is a Blackpool Pleasure Beach t-shirt and this is probably my favourite, favourite, favourite roller coaster t-shirt from Pleasure Beach. Um, just because I love the fact that it's all of the carriages, all of the trains um, and it just shows it off so nicely and it's just such a good material as well, it's so soft. And yeah. And then we move on to Mr. Funstein. <laughs> this is such a simple but basic but really stylish piece to just wear. Like, you can literally wear this with anything because it's black, but then just got the pop of colour as well, which I love so, so much, as you can see. <laughs> so, yeah. This one happens to be from Icon, and I have never ridden Icon. I was planning to ride Icon when we went in December, um, and it's not happening. So that's that's a shame. But here we are. Here's an Icon t-shirt that hopefully I'll wear one day because I won't feel guilty about the fact that I've not ridden the ride. <laughs> and then the last one from Pleasure Beach is this t-shirt. I bought this the first opening weekend that I went to with Zoe and I have loved it ever since. It's actually quite small on me now just because it's very tight fitting um, and it's a small ladies and I am a medium so you know I've gained weight so it's false. Um But yeah I love this design so so much and I love the fact that it's got the Pleasure Beach logo on the side of the arms as well. Oh it's only one arm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love it so much, but I wish it was bigger. And then I'm going to show you these anyway, but they're not really theme park related. These are my items that I have created for myself in that sense. Um, so I'll start with the t-shirt. This is kind of the start of my merch that I was hoping to be merch, but not really because I just wanted it to kind of rep myself. Um, and it just says, capture the good times, take the shot. Now, it's kind of also a musical reference because in Hamilton, they go on about, don't give away your shot and I'm not, take the shot. But basically this is personalized and it says, vlogger, videos, theater, and then my name at the bottom and this kind of just represents me, my YouTube channel. Um, I kind of just want to try and squeeze theme parks in there because you know, yeah. And then the hoodie to go with it is a burgundy colour which is one of my favourite colours and it says influencer which I kind of low-key hate now but it has a camera at the side of it and then it has my name and then on the back 
it has the image that I got the quote from and then it says the same thing of vlog up videos, theatre and then content creator. So that's fun. So that's again stuff from V Creative um, and yeah it's all very exciting you know. It's all growing. Anyway here we are. We're here to talk about theme parks aren't we? We're not here to just rabble. <laughs> So I asked on my Instagram for some questions that you guys wanted to know about me, about my experience, and I'm going to answer them. <laughs> so the first question is, favourite rides at Alton Towers? Now, before I went on an upside down ride, I actually loved Wicker Man. However, I then went on Galactica. <laughs> Galactica is my most favourite ride of all time and again I'd never thought I'd say that about an upside down ride but I love Galactica, I I just love the concept, I love the theming and I just, I can't put it into words um, but yeah and then Wicker Man also but Wicker Man's become a little bit rough so it's kind of gone down in the ranking a little bit but yeah and I actually kind of, I mean, I'm going to say this, but it's a bit controversial because I've only been on it once. But I actually kind of like Nemesis, but I don't at the same time because I had my eyes closed for most of it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually quite like Spinball Wizard now. Again, one that I would never thought I'd go on. Um, but I quite like that one. It's quite fun when there's four of you because you just get so thrown about and you just literally just fly around the track, which I love. So... The next question is favourite rides at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, I originally would have said Grand National, however, that has changed. Last time I went to Pleasure Beach, Grand National was so, so rough and I then went on the big one. <laughs> so the big one is now my favourite ride and then I think I'd follow that with Avalanche and then probably Grand National just because it's always been my favourite and then like Nick Streak and then kind of all those kind of things. <laughs> so the next question is from Josh who you've probably seen in my vlogs or videos before. Um, Josh is a good friend of ours, everyone. <laughs> um, and he asks, what was your favourite roller coaster? I've just answered that. Thanks Josh. He also asks, <laughs> why is Josh such a legend to go on rides with? My favourite moment from when we went on a ride together is on Spinball Wizard, just purely because it completely missed us and the camera. And it just makes me laugh every time, so yeah. So Zoe, I'm addicted to theme parks, has asked, do you think Nemesis should be burnt yes or yes? <laughs> I kind of just answered that by the fact that Again, I can't really answer in the sense of I've only been on it once, I had my eyes closed. I kind of just grinned and bared it and didn't really experience it fully. So, yeah. Another one from Zoe, she says, What coaster would you love to do but are scared of? Now, Icon is the obvious answer and I'm going to say Icon, but at the same time I'm kind of just a bit like, I want to do it. So I'm kind of a bit like maybe in fusion just because of how rough everyone says it is but I don't really know to be honest I don't really know that many roller coasters in that sense so yeah <laughs> now Drew has asked a few a lot uh, of questions so I'm just gonna answer them all in one go but they're all from Drew do you like flat rides and if so what's your favorite now, I actually think I'm going to say magic at Fantasy Island <laughs> because when we went to Fantasy Island, it was such a great, great laugh and we went on magic so many times because that was the time when I was just so not, not like cooperating and going on all of the rides. So, you know, <laughs> I think if I went now, I'd potentially go on things like Millennium and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really go on any rides and Magic was my favourite, so I'm going to say Magic. <laughs> Are there any CBBs or Nickelodeon Land rides you'd put at Gulliver's? 
Now this is quite interesting because I don't know because they are so iconic where they are and I don't think they'd fit necessarily with all the theming and stuff that goes at Gulliver's because obviously each section is themed so I don't know I don't maybe I don't know what the ride's called there's like a ride in Nickelodeon land that's like half a boat that literally sits two people in it last time we went you could only fit one because we're adults, so that's fun. Um, and it literally just goes up and down, like, in round in a circle. I can't remember the name of it. If anybody knows what I'm on about, please let me know in the comments. But, yeah, that ride will probably go well, like, in our area, which is the pirate area. Um, so, yeah. Did that, I can't think of anything else that would fit. Would you go on Enterprise at Alton Towers or Red Arrows Ice Blast? Pleasure Beach. Now I actually didn't know what Enterprise was until the very last time that we went to Alton Towers. <laughs> I'd never seen it before, I'd never noticed it because every time, it must have literally been like every time I looked where it is, like I'd never just, it'd never been up so I just didn't even know it was there, I didn't know what it was. Um, and then the last time I actually was told what it was and then I was looking out for it and then I saw it and I saw it up and you know what it looks terrifying I have to say like I, uh, yeah no I don't think I'd go on Enterprise. Red Arrows at Pleasure Beach I've done plenty of times before I will never ever spin on it probably um, but I've been on it it still is a bit of a strange feeling but yeah. Ice Blast I also wouldn't go on just purely because I've never really been on a drop or shot tower um, so yeah still a bit scared of them. <laughs> what scared you about Rita? Now <laughs> if you're going by the first time I went on Rita uh, I think it was more the anticipation for me like I never really been on a launch coaster before and so I didn't know what to expect but the second time that I went on it I actually kind of enjoyed it like once I got over the initial fear like I screamed a lot on the launch but it's just the launch like the rest of it was fine however the first time I had a panic attack on the ride so that was fun but I don't know whether that was just because I'd been on Oblivion literally just before and I hated Oblivion and really didn't like it so I don't know whether that was in like the anticipation of the fact that I wouldn't like the launch and such like so I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> what made you finally take on big coasters? Now I kind of answered this but I think it was literally just a confidence boost from absolutely nowhere and I think I literally just felt like I should just do it and I just needed to do it for my own sanity and for my own mental health and I just wanted something as another escape whilst theatres weren't open and then I fell in love and now I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to not loving them <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna try and keep pushing myself a bit more and go on more rides and go to different theme parks as much as I can and just see where life takes me. <laughs> Do you watch videos of coasters you haven't been on? Does that interest you? I do, especially if I'm trying to push myself to go on a roller coaster. I will watch a POV, P a POV of that roller coaster. I, when I went on the big one, I had already watched a POV. I re-watched a POV of 13 before we went to Alton Towers um, and stuff like that like the ones that I know that I'm definitely going to be scared of I will watch a POV of and I have just sit and binge to watch POVs before just because I'm sad like that um but yeah I do actually watch quite a few theme park youtubers i.e Zoe and Parks Bill and Lift Hills and Thrills and Jack Silkstone and all the rest of them that i haven't named <laughs> uh, but yeah I watch a lot of them and will love them probably forever just because it's such especially now because theme parks are closed and we can't go on them um, I think it's helped so so much with just watching vlogs and 
watching old videos and stuff like that it's really helpful and obviously they're still creating content re like related to theme parks so it's quite nice to like watch <laughs> so yeah what other parks in the UK would you like to go to I I think I think I would like to re go to Drayton Manor because again another park that I've been to and never went on any rides um, that was during when we were in secondary school and we went as part of an activity week um, and it was very very unnerving because of who we were with and I just hated it I didn't go on any rides didn't enjoy it and I think if I went now I'd actually really enjoy it um, another one I want to go to is Chessington because I've heard so so much about it I was actually watching Parks Bill's video or vlog from it um, today and it just looks so so good like so many people rave about it and I kind of wanted to do Chessington before I did any of the big coasters because I thought because it's a family park still they'd have quite small but me kind of rides um, to try and get me to build up my confidence to go on big rides but then I just kind of did it anyway so yeah. <laughs> Would you ever go to Scarefest or the dungeons at Alton Towers? Now we obviously went to Scarefest um, but we didn't go in any of the mazes or I didn't go in any of the mazes and Dom didn't um, so I'd kind of be intrigued to go to some of the mazes um, I'd like to do the dungeons. I don't really know what the dungeons are to be honest, but I'd like to go to them anyway. <laughs> what do you think the first park and ride will be for 2021? Hmm. Now this is difficult because I think Pleasure Beach is opening earlier than Otten Towers. So it's probably going to be the big one. <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest or I'm probably gonna get scared again because of being away for so long um so who actually knows what it's like to be <laughs> so that was the end of Drew's questions um I now have some anonymous questions um I'm not sure where I've got these from <laughs> if you uh, ask me these please let me know because apparently uh I don't have the name um but this one is a bit random. <laughs> uh, this one says, Would you be annoyed if Dom proposed to you at the top of the big one next year instead of a theatre? <laughs> um, I don't know whether I'd be annoyed necessarily. Like, I'm not sure about next year. I don't think he'd be very willing to do it next year, but here we are. Um, but yeah, like... I'd be very scared, I think, because obviously you'd have to walk the big one first. Um, that's kind of more like Zoe's dream, I think. Uh, I I just like going on the rides, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always kind of had a dream about like being proposed to in a theatre, like at the end of a show or something like that. I don't really know. Like I've got this big thing in my brain. I've got lots of things that would kind of work and kind of wouldn't so yeah favorite on ride moment i think one of the best things that i absolutely loved was when we were on galactica there was me dom zoe and josh and we all went on and it became a thing to just swim <laughs> and yeah i it just it's just so nice and it's so comforting and like it was with the best people that I could possibly ask for and it just really brightened my day <laughs> and it's just gonna stick with me now and that's become such a big thing like every time on Galactica swim that's it favorite off-ride moment um ooh. Okay. um I don't really know to be honest because there's been so many good moments and it's always such a pleasure to be at a theme park and I just don't really know. Um, potentially when we were at Pleasure Beach for Zoe's birthday and we were taking photos in front 
of the fountains when we were getting professional photos. That was so much fun. There was me, Dom, Zoe and Stuart there and it was it's so fun, it was so lovely and even though like that time we had to wait so so long for all the queues but it was actually just so much fun. The next question is from Louis and he asks when will you do the smiler? <laughs> I don't know is the answer to that. I want to do it, I just haven't quite got that far yet. Um, that probably answers the question that uh, about me wanting to do a coaster but too scared to do it um, because I want to do this Milo but I am definitely 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 way too scared to do it now. Um, it's been fun watching it from the side um, and I think that's going to be the case for a little bit longer. <laughs> this question is from Rob and he asks what is the best themed coaster? Um, obviously I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say Galactica but I actually think Wicker Man is probably best themed for me. I just enjoy it so much because it's become such a big thing and it's become such a story, especially when the actors are out and they are giving it some love and it's such, such fun to worship the Wicker Man. <laughs> Sarah asks, how did you overcome your fear of roller coasters? I waited and I think that's the biggest thing that I'm so proud of myself for. I didn't bow down to any peer pressure. I literally just waited until I felt ready. And I just gradually worked my way up. I went from all of the small flat rides, from like from the kiddie rides effectively, and just worked my way up until the very end goal, <laughs> really. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just worked my way up and that was very useful to do and did it in my own time and that helped. <laughs> and the last question is what's your next theme park goal? I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be difficult because obviously we're going to have so much time off from being at theme parks and I've only just really got started into it and I kind of think I'm probably going to have to just get back into it and slowly gradually get myself back into it. Um, but yeah, I think the next goal is probably, I don't really know, probably just get on some more big coasters and actually just do it and not be scared of them and just get over my fear and not scream <laughs> and not have a panic attack. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't know, I have so many and it's just hard to explain because most of it is to do with my mental health and actually just pushing myself and yeah. I'd like to create some good content for you guys and do some like challenges and stuff like that and become more theme park based as well as all the stuff that I already do. Um, but I think that is just going to be really difficult because I don't really know that much about theme parks. I enjoy them, but I don't know that much about them. So I think vlogs are mainly my thing and I think that's probably where it's gonna stay. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, that is the end of the questions. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want me to do any more theme park based videos that aren't vlogs, please give me some suggestions because I have actually really enjoyed answering some questions and such like. Um, and yeah, there we are. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you very, very soon for another video or vlog. <laughs> Bye.